This is gonna be one of their best design units yet. Ladies and gentlemen, the newest character for Grand Summoners JP has recently been announced, and that new character is named Velzard. This is not a unit that we've seen before in any form. This is a, an entirely new original character. Isn't that we haven't got a new original character in a very long time? Since a lot of the Ascended characters are just older Awoken characters that have gotten like a new power to an extent, right? But Velzard is completely new and they really cooked with my men. Like if you see these animations, bro, what the heck am I looking at? We finally have, what is this? A vampire slash blood mage? in the game all of his stuff looks amazing he's using his own blood or the enemy's blood to craft weapons and everything else also the super art is just crazy just literally turns into like this huge bloodbath that he's really dealing damage with and just going crazily oh my god they cooked they cooked to say the least they really did but one thing that matters more than just the animations is the kit how good is he and is he actually broken or is he just kind of i let's talk about that right now in terms of his slots he's going to have a six star physical five star magic four star support or a four star heal his skill is able to buff up his own art gauge by 25 if you crit you get all allies arts 25 wait what <laughs> i thought this was just a basic skill that if he crits he gets another 25 but no you give your allies 25 art gauge if you crit Okay, that's a pretty strong skill. The art is able to inflict a bleed. If the enemy is already bleeding, you increase its stack of bleed by one. The true art is able to increase your own attack and crit rate by 100%. This lasts for 50 seconds, which is not too bad. The super art is a 170,000% multiplier. You reduce the enemy's fire res by the number of bleed stacks, and that's it. That's all you do. I don't know why. I thought I was expecting a little bit more with that one, but that's still pretty good. Abilities reduce all allies' damage taken from enemies with three stacks of bleed by 30%. You increase your own damage by 60% for every enemy killed by own attack and you increase your own healing received by 20% So wow, that's actually pretty crazy that damage reduction and also a massive damage buff upon killing enemies So any stage that has multiple adds he's gonna be insane in um, but even without that 300% damage buff He's still gonna hit really hard because his multiplier is 170k plus with his equip slots He's gonna get an additional like thousand attack to whatever his base attack stat is so yeah, I mean, man's gonna be hitting kinda hard. The true weapon is Deep Blood. This is a 5-star physical. If the enemy is already bleeding, you increase its stack of bleed by 1, and then for 8 seconds, you reduce the enemy's fire res by 35%. So it seems like the best way to play this character is to use your art, get the bleed on them, pop your true weapon get another bleed on them and then now you're at two bleeds and then maybe you have like one other character or you just get another art and you use that to inflict the final bleed that you need also this busts up your own damage by 30 percent arc gauge by two per second pretty strong stuff here in terms of the kit and everything lots and lots of synergy this is actually going to be kind of crazy this is a fire character too Mono fire is just getting all the love right now i don't know what it is from yama p but yeah, they're cooking. For one, Velzard is a bleed character, which sure, isn't really too crazy, right? A lot of times whenever we see bleed characters, I know a lot of us probably roll our eyes because we think of units that are like Dark Haruto and all them, that they were okay at the time, but they were not like the best of the best. But Velzard, I think, might be changing that because there's a lot of stuff going on with his bleeds and just his kit in general. So he's doing a lot for himself, but the thing that is even crazier is that factor in actual characters into this for a second other fire units if you have sunraku and you have summer iris ladies and gentlemen you're gonna have so much passive damage res it's not even funny those two alone you're at 45 percent if you get a enemy up to three stacks of bleed ladies and gentlemen you are now at 75 percent dr without even utilizing a damage mitigation tank that's completely stupid another thing is is that this doesn't just work for fire allies you could also utilize this exact same strategy alongside mitigation tanks like shiro emia to get even more dr passively also, if this works how I'm thinking it would work, this DR should stack with practically every other DR in the game since this is a conditional effect. Of course, we'll have to see. Maybe, you know, they kind of limit it to how crazy it could really be. But that's insane. That is actually wild. In terms of harder content, this guy is going to have some use there. And he's going to be a great addition to Mono Fire. Because right now, Mono Fire, I would say their mainstays are like Valentine's Day Priscilla, Summer Iris, Sunraku. 
And then like the last character usually like, you know, switches around. It goes to Rin to maybe you need like a Kirisame, you know, or whatever else. But now with this unit coming out, I mean, you could use him and have major fire res and even more damage res down. I guess at the same time, some people may ask in Mono Fire, just why would you use this character if you can use a unit like Lark that's kind of doing the same thing and technically provides you with a bit more since he's also lowering the enemy's physical res and not just fire res. But I really think that 30% DR is what's going to be saving this character in a lot of situations where it's like i don't know if i want to pick between this unit or this unit but this guy has 30 percent dr if i get three stacks of bleed and as long as you can survive to get that three stacks of bleed 30 percent dr comes online then you know you're vibing for the rest of the fight not to mention too this guy's a pseudo arch -gener. like with the skill he's able to be a pseudo arch -gener. and heavens forbid he's gonna be on a team with summer iris right summer iris literally buffs up skill ct speeds for fire allies which means your team's just gonna have even more art gauge than it already does which makes no sense because mono fire doesn't need more art gauge <laughs> this is wild this is honestly a crazy character that is going to be cooking also his banner isn't too bad i mean kirisame is on there we finally is this the first banner where there's two ascendant characters on one banner i don't know if it is or not velzard is looking very strong i wouldn't say he's the most broken thing we've ever seen since he's really catering around mono fire if he was more of a character that was like reducing enemies physical res by the number of bleed stacks and it's like okay well this guy's just an amazing physical character and he can be used practically everywhere but he wants to be mainly on a mono fire team i would say possibly just an s tier character uh i don't think he's gonna be anything higher than that he might we have to see how crazy you know the bleed stacks and getting the damage res passively will be for utilizing it in like different team comps and everything but dude looks crazy tell me down below what you all think about velzar you guys liking this unit are you guys not me myself i'm loving his animations and just off that alone i want to summon for him even meta wise you know he's still looking extremely good but hey that's gonna be it for me thank you all again for coming out and last but not least you guys already know don't forget to drink water